Hey guys, uh, welcome to your last uh, Fluent Lecture. So the purpose of this series of videos is going to be to go uh, over what we've been doing in ANSYS over the past few weeks and actually applying that stuff to hopefully what you will be um, doing next year in Capstone. So how to use some of these tools with uh, you know CADs that you, you work on and to get some CFD solutions and maybe get some useful data and figures you can use. So we're going to start uh, opening up by this uh, program. So uh, Rhino, um, you aren't familiar with it yet, but you will uh, use it pretty early on uh, in your capstone um, education. So I'm just going to load up something I downloaded earlier. This is a um, um, this is actually the CAD one of the the final CAD for my current project, the Icebridge project. So you can kind of see what it looks like here. Uh, again, you guys haven't used this CAD package yet, but um, um, this video will help you uh, when you do know how to use Rhino. And um, basically the, the idea is that, it, you know, it, this program can be used for a lot. Like you can see here, we, we, we were kind of measuring where our components were going, uh, the wings, you know, bring up the tail and everything. So you can see the tail in the back there. So, um, but none of this is really important for CFD. So if you remember from the earlier video, we need to get a, a CAD model that's watertight. So this first video, I'm gonna kind of show you how to turn something into a watertight model from, from the Rhino package so we can upload that later down the road in ANSYS. So the first thing, uh, well, good practice to do is, and our group didn't do it because we weren't running any CFD, but to make sure you always like keep track of a nice outer mold line. So, um, we don't really have that here. It's not watertight. You can see there's holes in the wings, all that. So we're just going to kind of sanitize all that. So the first thing we're going to do, let's open up all these layers. So uh, Rhino, you can have a, a bunch of different layers. And I'm going to hide the ones that we're going to keep. So the wing, the tail, the fuselage, everything else, we're just going to delete. Gone. Um, and then bring back. So this is kind of like a working outer mold line. Uh, one thing I am going to get rid of is uh, just real fast. Um, this hole in the back um, and this will make more sense um, to you guys when you actually learn how to use Rhino but for now I'm just going to try to quickly close up this hole so take a side view here uh, so grid snap makes it so that your anything you move will like um, hot bulbs will snap to a, like something like I selected points so it's going to snap to to the points um, these little white boxes. So I'm just going to consolidate all of them into one place. Check out what that looks like. Oh, uh, I forgot one point. Uh, get it down uh, right there. Okay, yeah, that looks that looks pretty good. So, all right, sorry, it took some time. Um, okay, so now we're getting down to the water type model. So. It might, it might not look like it, but there's actually a, a little overlap here, which is going to, or um, it's not quite in line. The, the wing and the fuselage are not quite in line. So we're going to first um, uh, cut. I'll show you how to do little cuts like that. This will help down the road. So we're going to make a um, rectangle on this plane. Go back to perspective. I'm going to select that. I'm going to turn it into a surface. Go up to the surface tools um, and planar curves makes a plane. All right. Uh oh. So you can also see that's not going to really look too great in the tail there. So let's go to the uh, front section and do a quick rotation. So transform, rotate this object and center of rotation right there. Let's just get it so that the corner is on the other side of the of the plane here. All right, and so now we're gonna use uh, what's called the split tool. We're gonna split off the um, 
uh, see you can now see that the planes there you can see there's a little area that's protruding over the plane so let's just delete that so we're going to select object to split and select the cutting object which is this plane so I just cut that you can see we can highlight that specific area and then just press the delete button to get rid of it and it didn't even look like it did anything but it did um, that's the kind of precision you need for CFD which is why this this is kind of um, this step it takes a long time um, took me a long time to finally get this thing watertight but it is crucial and I find it's crucial to do it in Rhino and not the CAD packages that you find on ANSYS which you can use for other things but as far as getting something watertight maybe you can try it there's two different types but I wasn't able I didn't find much success in that so I, I found the best way was to, to actually use Rhino so that's what I'm going to do here so you can see now we just cut the tail and the, and the wing um, so the next part this uh, is kind of an interesting little um, approach I did here so we gotta get rid of these internal faces because we want to join we want to merge everything into one body to make it watertight once watertight solid that we can upload so what I actually did here is I I duplicated so I just copied and um, control C and control V so now there's actually two surfaces identical surfaces there I did the same thing for the for the wing so we got two of those surfaces we're going to go back to that um, split command and edit. So edit split, and we're going to first split the wing. So that's the object to split. And now cutting object, we're going to use one of these, any one of them, a um, uh, few slotters. So now enter. So we just cut something. So now we're going to click an area. You can see the um, this area has been split. I'm going to take that, delete it. And now um, we're going to do the same thing for but splitting the fuselage. So go back to the split command, any of these. So click one fuselage. So that is object to split, yes. And now cutting object. So we want to use not this wing, because you can see this one is the one that was cut already. See how it's not pink at the bottom there? Uh, we're going to use the other one as the cutting tool. So it's going to cut off that top uh, surface there. And now, I don't know if that cut. Uh, oh yeah, it did. So, yeah. So we delete that. Um, and now we need to delete the um, the cutting tools we use. So so take the wing that's pink everywhere, delete that one. And then take the fuselage that's pink everywhere and and delete that one. And you can see we cut out that area. And now to join it into one. Um, uh, surface, we're going to click join, select both of them, enter, ah, voila, there. So now that's one, um, one surface. So now we're going to take, go back to that, uh, oh, so let's check out here. So this uh, tail isn't quite overlapping, uh, or the boom isn't quite overlapping with the tail, so we're going to actually edit that real fast. So we'll go to top down. Take this, drag it back a little bit, like so. Check out what that looks like. Yeah, so that's clearly inside both of them. So now let's, again, let's use some splitting. So go edit split. I'm going to split the boom and use the fuselage to cut. Take out that section. And now we're going to do the same thing here. Split the boom. Um, right there and use the tail to cut and cut out that last there you go so now we have those let's join these parts so we're going to use a thing called boolean union here so in the solid tools uh, click on that select that and select the tail and the boom press enter it's now one part um, and now before we join these two, let's uh, transform, let's do a, a mirror so we get um, both of these. So I went to transform mirror, select both objects, press enter. Now it wants to know the mirror planes. We're going to use X axis up here. There you go. Uh, edit join. Let's join these two um, together. So there's one. and. Um, do the same thing. You can actually use Boolean union or join. Sometimes one of them doesn't work. 
Um, but sometimes, uh, yeah, so sometimes you have to try one, and if it doesn't work, you try the other one. And then this last bit, uh, <laughs> talk about trial and error. If, if I try to do a Boolean union here, it kind of, sometimes it, it does this. I'm not exactly sure why I found a workaround. You, you do Boolean split. And so I'm going to click that one first, that one, and then use a tail as a cutting. And, uh, and then you have to delete these. Don't ask me why, that's kind of a weird thing. Um, but you can see now it's one model, still not quite done yet. One last thing you can see, there's a hole both here and in the tail. It's a little harder to see, but there is. So we're gonna click the, our solid and we're gonna go to this button in solid tools called cap planner holes. So let's get so we can see. Clap, cap planner holes, click it, and there you go. Just filled the, all our holes there, there, and there. So this is a watertight, well, we we're not going to know if it's watertight until we actually take it to ANSYS, but I've already done this, so I know this is watertight. Um, so I'm going to take it into ANSYS, and then you'll see it in the next video.